Hi everyone, welcome back. So this time, what we're we doing? Well, we're just trying to find the location of the shear center, measured from that point right there in the middle of our web. So we're finding the location of that shear center. Now dimensions are given to us. A is equal to 50 millimeters, B is 100, the height is 300, and the thickness is equal to 5 millimeters. Remember, how do we do this? We do it by getting an equation for the shear flow and each of our little sections, integrating that so that we can then get the force, the force in each section. And then it's simply taking the sum of the moments. OK. So with that in mind, let's keep on going about it. First up, moment inertia, you've done this a ton. I'm not going to focus on this now, but you can go back and look at it if you wish. OK. So here's our moment inertia for this section. And check it on your own time. So now that we have the moment of inertia, you're like, what about the centroid? Well, it's actually symmetric in the y direction, so I don't have to worry about the centroid. It's just right at the center. So now we're going to try to figure out the shear flow in our right side flange. So this is going to be for, you know, looking at our little picture right here. It could be right here. And we've got a temporary variable u. Okay, a temporary variable u. So the area is going to be 5 millimeters times u, and the distance to the centroid, from centroid to centroid, is going to be 150 millimeters from here to here. This is just showing us a little picture here. And you have to remember that the shear flow on either side is going to be different. And the shear force on both sides is going to be different. So we can't just act like it's going to be the same. So if we plug all this in here, we don't need to know what the shear force is. We get this equation for my shear flow. And I can integrate that from here to here to figure out what the force is in this little section. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I integrate with respect to u. And what do I get? Well, I get it's going to be 0 0.0833 times the shear force. 0 0.0833 times the shear force. Now, on the left side flange, well, we're going to use V because we used U last time. It's very, very similar. It's actually identical, in fact, to our previous equation. But we're just integrating in the opposite direction. So there's V. We start here. We start from a point where it's 0. We integrate to the middle. And we plug in our equation, and then we finally integrate to get the shear force in that section. Now, the great thing is this. We're done. Like, once you have that force for both of these, you're good. You don't actually have to go any further than that. Um, because we don't actually need it in the web, because we're going to calculate our eccentricity from the web. So we're taking the moments about this point. That one doesn't actually have a moment. OK. So then if we're trying to figure out what our moment is, well, we simply do that our shear force um, times eccentricity is going to be equal to these two couple moments. There is a reason you don't see um, two here is because we're doing it as a couple moment, which is just multiplying the distance between them by two. And then we solve. So we have 0 0.0833 for the force on the right. 0 0.02083 for the force on the left. Let me plot it out. Our V's cancel. And we're left with a shear center that is 18.75 millimeters from the web. 18.75 millimeters from the web to keep it nice and stable. So the big things to be thinking about for these kinds of problems are simply that your shear flow, you have to develop an equation for it. But really, if you just keep the length as a variable, it pops out on its own. Like You know how to do it if it's a number, so just replace that number with a variable. And then you do an integral. And all the integrals for this class are very, very simple, so it should not be too terrible. If you're getting something absolutely terrible, something has gone horribly wrong. So thank you. Thank you for listening. I appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Bye-bye.